For today's tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to create mastery paths within Canvas. And so a mastery path is exactly what it sounds like. It is a path you take based on your level of mastery. And so this is a way to automatically differentiate your lessons within Canvas because the students that scored a 22% on the quiz do not need the same supports that a child that scored a 95%, for example. They need two completely different things. And so for that reason, mastery paths exist. You'll assign the quiz and then based on how they score, those are the activities that they might get. So to show you that, I already have one created, so I want to show you what the exemplar looks like, and then I want to take you back and show you how it is that um, we were able to make this step by step. So it will start with a quiz, and so for now you have to do it with classic quizzes because it is not unlocked yet for um, new quizzes. So if you're watching this anytime, right now it's August, 2020. So if you're watching this anytime now within the next year, you need to do this through classic quizzes. So as you are creating your quiz, your classic quiz, you'll see the details, the questions, and the mastery paths. And so this is kind of what a mastery path looks like. And so to you, you'll have the items and so here this is a quiz anything it's a rocket ship those are quizzes these are assignments and so what you will do is add in quizzes and assignments maybe you want to add a discussion you can do this so that you can teach your kids on their level and so these will be independent activities that they will complete and then they'll come back to you for an enrichment lesson or a reteach lesson when you have a chance or you have that built into your schedule so in order to start you'll notice that i can click and change the first two boxes but with this one here i can't click inside that because this is my base level this is zero points you can't really score any less than zero points and so I'm lurking kind of from the ground and building up to the ceiling of my um, mastery path, okay? And so here, this is going to be my lower level tier, the children who need the most support moving up. This will be the children that need, um, that are kind of middle of the road. They need support, but not that much. And then moving up, your last level will be your highest level. And these are your students that they've got it, they're with it, they're ready for a challenge. And so I can come here and change the amount of points that I want. So let's say I wanted, if you scored, numbers too large. So maybe if you scored two points here, then you're middle of the road. But then let's say that you scored um, three points. Oops, 32, I don't want 32, I just want three three points, then you are one of those students that was a high flyer. Now your quiz is gonna be totally different and so yours might be zero out of 100. For this quiz, it's just a practice, so it's got very low point values. Now to actually add the assignments, you'll click the plus sign and all of the items Sorry, that you, Siri is talking to me right now. No, thank you. Anyway, technology. So here you will see all of the assignments and quizzes that you have already created. And so you can look at everything or you can come here and only click certain things. I just want assignments. So now these are all the assignments that I had, okay? And so I'm going to click math quiz, for example, and then I'm gonna add that item. You'll see here that this was added in. And so it is my choice the order in which I want my students to do these activities. I can drag it and drop it based on what I need them to do first, okay? And so now it's my choice the order, and I'm just dragging and dropping. And so it's my choice the order. And if I want them to do all of these activities, then I need them to do all these activities. But let's say that I, that I need them to do any 
one of these activities. So you can do one or two or three activities. Or I can click this again and say you must do at least these two activities or you can do this one longer activity. It is your choice what you do. And that way I can kind of decide what is it that I need my students to do. And then if I need to edit this, I can edit the activity. I can move it to the two point section or I can move it to the zero point section. Because remember, we're in three points right now. So um, when I move it, it'll either go to two points or down to zero points, okay? And so I'm going to actually remove this because it doesn't belong in there. And so that's kind of the way that you edit. And then it's the same process for the two point section, middle of the road, and then the ones that need a lot more support. So you click the plus sign and then you'll click which item you want to add in. And then you select the items that you want to add in, add those items and decide, do I want you to do all of it or some of it? And it's completely your choice. If you add in something that should not have been there, then you'll just come and remove it. And then you'll come here and remove it. Now remember, you have to click save at the end so that way your mastery path will be complete. And so I'm saving, saving, saving. Great. And so now my mastery path is published. So what I'm going to do now is go back home. And so whenever my kids go on and I assign them this quiz, the quiz that I just showed you, whenever they take this quiz, automatically it's going to take them to one of three different mastery paths. And if you look here, you'll see this activity is for children that scored between one and zero points. These activities is if they scored two points and then three points and so on. And so that's kind of gonna give you an idea of what it looks like. And if I wanna take this to student view, so I'll click inside my quiz and that way I can kind of see what it's going to look like and I can see the breakdown over here all right and so now let me go back I'm going to click student view so that way I can see what my kids are going to see and you see the bar at the bottom it shows that I'm in student view now I'm going to click into my assessment take the quiz And now, um, and we're, I am literally typing in some numbers here, okay? And we'll see what level I end up in, even though I already know. I don't know, $1 there. Okay, and then solve for X. X is 52. My math people are going to be so excited <laughs> for me after they see my scores. Okay, awesome. I got zero out of three and X was actually nine. It was not 78. And so here we go. There are my answers. And so now I'm going to click next. And it's going to give me my assignments. You're going to prep. You're going to watch a little. Let's pause and do the steps that you saw me doing watch a little more press pause to follow the steps that i showed you so that that way you get the most out of the tutorial and it's not overwhelming watching from beginning to end and then you're lost at the end so do yourself a favor watch a little bit pause and then you will be able to continue and learn on your own so with that said this concludes this the tutorial and so if this helped you definitely click like and then share it with your teaching friends but don't forget to subscribe so that you never miss any of my upcoming tutorials